Hello Aces, welcome back to module one, lesson three. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to push through any obstacles by defining your why, your vision statement, and your mission statement. It is crucial for us to learn how do we do that because we need to be able to harness anything we can, harness our internals and our values and everything that we have inside to push through obstacles because running a restaurant is not easy by any means. We're going to be faced with tons of hurdles and struggles every single day and we need to be able to harness these three items in order for us to push through all the hardships and that's the reason why it's super important for us to go through this module right now so what makes successful companies more successful than others it is the way they lead now let me elaborate most businesses small mom and pops we lead with what and then how what is it that we're selling how do we sell it differently Whereas successful business people, they lead with their why. What is their conviction? How do they do it differently? And what is it that they sell? Just by thinking and approaching this business from, a, from an upside down perspective is the reason why they're so successful. Today, we're gonna to be sharing with you The Golden Circle by Simon Sinek. If you have not already done so, please, 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 Go on YouTube, Google Simon Sinek, start with why. It is a 10 minute TED Talk video that truly explains the golden circle in such a way that it will change your life. So definitely go on YouTube it. But if you're not gonna do that, I'm gonna explain to you as well. Why? What is your purpose? What is your cause? What is your belief? What is that internal thing that is pushing you to actually go and create your restaurant? What kind of belief do you have? What kind of conviction? And it starts from here. After the fact that you have defined that, we're gonna figure out how, which is your process. What makes you do things a little bit different? What makes you stand out from the 10 million different companies and restaurants out there? It is the way you do things. And lastly, we go into what? The result, the tangible thing that you're serving. Is it ice cream? Are they noodles? Are they chicken? What is it? that you're serving. To give you an example of how Apple's golden circle works, they lead with their purpose, their why. We believe in challenging the status quo and thinking differently. How we challenge the status quo is by making our products beautifully designed, easy to use and user friendly. And notice we're still not talking about the product. We're talking about why they exist and how they're doing things differently, how they're different from Microsoft. They make these things. They're way ahead of their time before all the other companies really focused on user interface, really focus on the aesthetics of things. Apple was a true leader and pioneer in that field. And as a result, what do they sell? We just happen to make great computers and phones, and it doesn't matter what they sell. iPhones, iPods, AirPads, doesn't matter. All of them follow their purpose, their process, and that's the reason why Apple has been so, so successful. Now, how discovering your why really allows you to build your dream food and beverage shop? Charisma. It gives you charisma, it gives your restaurant charisma and it believes in a purpose that and a cause that's bigger than yourself that allows you to lead the people around you your team your partners even yourself it allows you to come up stand up at 8 a.m in the morning and be excited to go to work because you are doing something beyond yourself it's a why it's the idea it's the belief that drives you out of bed every single day and it also is the thing that gives you the superpower to push through any hurdles, any hardships. And believe me, throughout the last 10 years running multiple different, different businesses, every time whenever I'm faced with a really big dilemma, a really big hurdle, I always goes back to my own beliefs, my own why. Why am I even doing it? And whenever I'm clear and whenever I remind myself of the why, I, I shrug everything off 
everything becomes worthwhile. I understand why I'm doing it and therefore I will continue to charge through the hardship that is in front of me right now. My why. My why is to empower other people and to provide them with an opportunity so then that way they can be the best versions of themselves. And that truly is, is my why. The reason why I'm so attached to this statement is because when I first started business, which was like 10 years ago, I had no one there to teach me. There was no one, the internet was not as, there was no internet guru. There were no online courses. Everyone that I talked to, someone that is 10 steps ahead of me, they're so far out of reach. I can never connect with them. They think me as a nobody and no one was willing to lend a hand to me which is the reason why now that I'm in a position to help, I want to be able to help you. I want to be able to help other people out there to achieve and be the best versions of themselves because I understand the hardship that when no one is willing to lend a hand, how difficult and how dark it really is. Which is now your turn to figure out your why. So the why statement template is to something so that something to two and the contribution that you make to others what is it that you want to be able to do to others what are the results and the impact of the contribution that you're going to be able to make what is that in the link below you can download the worksheet template and we have much more instructions in helping you define your why statement. So go ahead, download it and start working on it. Super crucial for your restaurant success journey. Now that we figured out our why, we're going to be talking about vision and statement. Oftentimes, one of the biggest questions that I get when it comes to these two topics is how are they even different? It seems like there's so many different overlaps and that's the reason why we're going to be talking about the difference. A vision is where you want to be and a mission is how do you get to where you want to be and they work hand in hand. Vision is about your future. A mission is about the present leading to the future. It's much more action orientated. A vision inspires you to give your best. It's an inspiration. Oftentimes it's an idea. It's a concept. Whereas a mission becomes a roadmap to get to your vision. Vision and the biggest differentiating of them too is that vision is intangible. It's something that is up in the air. Once again, it's a little bit of a concept up here. Whereas a mission is something that I can measure. It is something that is tangible. As an example, Starbucks's vision is to establish Starbucks as the premier purveyor of the finest coffee in the world while maintaining our up compromising, uncompromising principles while we grow. Yes, it might seem like, whoa, really fluffy. It's, it's up there somewhere. It's a really big concept that we can swallow. It's a really big vision that someone has, whereas mission is much more tangible to inspire and nurture the human spirit, one person, one cup, one neighborhood at a time, so we can measure how they plan on attaining their vision. That's the difference between the two. Now it is your turn to identify your why and to state your vision and mission statement. And once again, go down there in the link below and download the worksheet, follow through the steps to define that. This becomes your superpower. Whenever you have any problems, come back to this worksheet and you're gonna be able to revitalize and to re-energize to go out there and fight. What you have learned today is to discover your why, your vision and mission statement so then that way you can defeat any hardship. Next up, we're gonna be able to talk about and harness your three alter egos to set up your restaurant for success. All of us have three altered egos. By identifying it, being aware of it, we can harness all three of these powers. I'll see you guys in the next module.